So I'm currently running with complementary shaders at medium settings. However, if I bump that up to extreme, I get a higher average FPS. How does that work? And I can even hear my GPU speeding up its fans. Wow. Anyways, welcome back to Vault Hunters. And yes, I thought, you know what? Why not try the shaders on for this episode and let me know what you think down below in the comments with or without shaders. Please let me know. But you have probably noticed that it says 10 unspent skill points at the top right hand corner. And that is because in this latest Vault Hunters update, we have some changes to abilities and talents and things like that. So they thought the best idea was to reset the skill points so you don't lose out on everything and have a chance to uh, basically set your points again. And that is what we are going to be starting off with. Definitely, obviously, need Vein Miner and we're going to be picking Fortune. Uh, yeah, Vein Miner to avoid any blocks. Yes, yes, Fortune, definitely. Um, then we're going to go ahead and get dash, of course. We're also, bullet, not gonna get that. Healing, apparently, I think has been gotten, gotten, has been given a buff. Not a nerf, but a buff. Uh, so current cooldown is 10 seconds, mana cost is 10, heal is 2. I think I'm going to upgrade this to 2. Would love to get it to this. But let's just see what else we got. I also do want strength. Oh, I could get strength too. But I also do want speed. <laughs> and I guess I, I can't actually get haste. Um, hmm. Reach. I guess I could get something else. Heal. A changes your heal to a group heal. Yeah, I don't have teammates, unfortunately. Uh, farmer. Yeah, I'm not going to take that actually, I don't think. Ooh, Stonefall. That could be a good one to have. I don't think I need it right now, though. I guess I'll just take dash level 2. Alright, that's... Oh, that's not sorted. I still have one unused. Uh, can I upgrade Vein Miner? I'll upgrade it. Why not? Also, give me a quick second here. Get rid of the noisy neighbors. Be gone. I just realized I never got Unbreaking 3 for my Vault Leggings in between episodes. Uh-oh, I need 31 emeralds to do that, of which I have 16. I have half currently. Oh, and I do have a bunch of sticks. Ooh, I might have enough. I did indeed have enough. There we go. Beautiful. Unbreaking three and just gonna attach that to these fellas. And boom, these are the vault leggings that we got in the last episode. Definitely an upgrade to our current pair. I guess I need another armor stand for leftover armor but anyway that could go in here also i was going to make this crystal but i think i'm going to wait with that i think we'll get back to that oh, okay i guess i'll leave the hole i already have a vault crystal right here unfortunately it's level 9 we're currently level 10 which means i don't think we're gonna have any more bigger disgrace so that's just that now before we head into a vault let us check out the black market we have a phoenix feather some eternal souls and wild focus none of which i'm really interested in however I know submission. Submit 28 soul... I can't pronounce those. At the bounty table. That's quite a lot. Kill entities, kill husks, 95, and we get two orbs of regret. And two stacks, well, 11 and 16, so it's 20, 27 Larimar gems. And mine 14 black opal ore in the vault. I'm not going to take this. I'm going to reroll this because I haven't seen, I don't think, maybe once or twice black opal ore. And I I think the only black opal that I have have been from chests and whatnot. So I'm going to reroll this. Uh, let's see. Kill entity. Wraiths. No. I don't think I've, I've maybe seen one or two wraiths so far. Yeah, I'm going to reroll that yet again. Completion. I can't complete the objective yet because I haven't been able to complete the objectives. Kill zombies. Hmm. Yeah, I, th I think this one is worth it. Now the question is, so right, and you get these from killing wraiths, which are in the nether, which I have not found yet, so I can go ahead and, it's a lot of vault ingots, but it's fine, it's fine, I'm, I'm just going to reroll again, see what we get, find 50 vault essence of the vault, okay, I do need a, I, I do need a vault helmet, I'll activate that. And then, 
we ladies and gentlemen and gentlemen are going to head into the vault i just need to make sure that these are empty they are you place them there just need extra food and off we go nope not off we go i need my shulker box i just need at least one just to be on the safe side i feel like i've forgotten something but here we go hopefully we will get enough knowledge as well to be able to get as a new mod today so a second knowledge point oh we still have beginner's grace because the crystal was made to level nine okay that's good I'm going to try and preserve these blocks so i don't use too many of them also i haven't run a vault in a bit so going to be rusty at best okay it's a physical spawner i can i can i can, I can deal with that i guess i could Maybe not deal with that. I did, I did mention I was rusty, right? Yes. And gonna throw everything for the things who get picked up. Yep. I definitely need to get back into this heap of things. Yep. Perfect. Ooh. Ooh, guild it. Guild it. Go fast. I don't have arrows on me. That's unfortunate. <laughs> That's very unfortunate. But gilded chests are gilded chests. Uh oh. I got company, don't I? Oh, it's not a fizzle one. Not a fizzle spawner. Not a fizzle. Ooh. Did I hear a blaze? Did I hear a blaze? I feel... Oh, they're below me. I feel like I could die from this vault. Not gonna lie. Oh, yes. Yep. 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 Living chests. Missile spawner as well. Rid. That's poison. Yep. Knowledge. Good stuff. Okay. Before I die to a very embarrassing death or something, I'm going to move on. Oh, nope. I almost missed this. Oh, now I get a wraith. Of course. Ooh. So this is the chromatic iron room. So you can basically get a ton of chromatic iron ore here if you're mining it. I don't know if we have any other points of interest in this room or if it's just the chromatic iron. I think it might be. Ooh, and this. That's good. I'll take that. Oh, no, wait. We might have another POI here. Yep, we had another point of interest. Don't know what's here, though, really. Oh. Oh. Nope, oh. Nope. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Unless we have any ores in here, maybe. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. That's gonna go ahead and do that. Okay. Swiftly moving on. I don't think I need chromatic iron. Ooh, we have a monolith. We do have a monolith. Let's light that on eight chests. Yes. Hello, buddy. Go away. Do. Ooh. Hello. All right, we reached the end. However, that up there is promising. Yep. However, this is a constant act of spawner. I quickly need to defuse. Done. Ooh, good one. And you can actually, while you're in the vault. I've set it to F10. If I hold it down, I can see how many more vault deaths I need to get before I have completed the objective. So I need to get eight more vault essence to complete this bounty. That is now seven more. And I'm going to land this. Okay. Okay. This is where things could get dangerous because there are a lot of spawners here. A lot of spawners. Okay, this could be tough, but it could also be a great amount of loot if I don't die in that attempt. Oh no. Big zombie. Build up. Please be gone. So it's spawner over there, but it's safer. I just need five more vault essence. Get this stuff. You're stuck. Yeah, at this rate, I'll be getting. Yep, bouncy complete, just like that. Ooh, second monolith. Okay, now I might just start looking for monoliths and special chests like this. Because I would love to get an objective done. Unless I instantly see some, like, gilded chests or living chests, or an eight for, the, for that matter, I won't go for it. Please let me find another monolith. Eight chests, I will stop for it. I can do it without. Hold up. Hold up. Fine. What? Wow. Okay, and the spawn is it. Oh, active. He lays down. I don't think it's worth it. 
<gasps> yes. Final obelisk. Obelisk? No. Or uh, monolith has been found. Wow. That's really cool. Now, I just gotta nut. Nope. I saw a gilded chest, but nope. 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 Not risking it. Not after this victory. Well, I think I'm just going run through these rooms and then exit early. Because I think I'll get more loot the earlier I get out. I'll just run to the end, make a big U-turn until I hit my portal room. Like that's blocked off, that's blocked off. Yep, I turn left here. And I turn another, then I turn left here, turn left here, and eventually I should hit barrier. Yep, right there. And we have living chest right next to it. I will stop for that. That was a little bit creepy. Not even gonna, ooh, yep. Worth it, worth it. Oh, there's living chest up there too. Uh, yes, fine. And then, uh, mm. and, uh, mm. and then through here. <laughs> Third take. Then I think. Wow, there's another one right here. Yep, the portal is right there. I don't know what happens if I take a third, fourth one. I can't. Okay, that makes sense. Now, if I take a left and then another left, we are home. Yeet! All right, 4,628 XP, 107 mobs killed, and when it comes to loot, 74 chests looted. That's not bad, all things considered, I think. And yet again, I didn't have to use my shulker box so that is really cool that skeleton is still around here so as per usual i'm just gonna go through quickly sort things out and i will be right back all right and through that vault run we got 26 dollar chestnuts which if we combine it with this gives us enough to get another knowledge star hopefully we have everything else that we need Let's take a quick look here, so we can remove that. Knowledge star, we need the knowledge core. Eight volt diamonds, which we most definitely do have. And then, just need the extraordinary Benyotype. type. Do I have enough Benyotype? type? That's one, two, three, four. I think, if my math is not wrong. Yes. We got enough for another knowledge star. Let's go. Now, of course, we got the monolith crate, but first, I think we should claim our reward for the bounty. Oh, that's it. there we go. We got Vault Alloy. I'll go ahead and remove the magnet now. Vault Alloy, really good stuff. And then we got the unidentified Vault Helmet, which is really good. Because it's definitely going to be an improvement for what I have right now. Let's see what we get. Okay, let's take a look. Level 10, lots of repairs, a 3 armor, plus 1 armor. That's not too bad. So if my defense currently is at 20%, with this on, we have a defense of 22%. Question is, do I reroll this? The prefixes and the suffixes, because it, does, it currently doesn't have a suffix. Yeah, I think I do. Let's do it. Thorns damage, plus two health. But I do like the armor, though. I did really like the armor. Oh, this is getting expensive. <laughs> Plus two armor and soul bound. I'll take it. Plus two armor. That's pretty decent. I just need to get unbreaking on there. Of which I might actually have enough sticks, maybe? Potentially? I doubt it. Yeah, not close. Which means... Actually, with shaders, the view is really, really beautiful. Anyways, like I was saying, it's re-chopping time. Hopefully, this is going to be good, good, no, okay. Hopefully, this is going to be good enough, maybe? Yes, perfect. And just like that, unbreaking three, and unbreaking three. Very nice. And the old one can go on, I forgot the word all of a sudden, armor sand. Let's just get a little bit more unobtainium unobta blocks. And now we can open the monolith crate. Let's just quickly get... Actually, I remember now. I remember now, actually. It is not the first one I've gotten. Anyway, let's see what we get. Boots. Okay, let's just pick everything up. Okay, we got some boots. And we got some coins. Some driftwood. And some netherite scrap. Okay. 
I was hoping for better. <laughs> I won't lie. However, the vault boots, they're level 9, these are level 8. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Alright. Level 9. Uh, plus 4 armor. Yeah, they're not as good. The durability is higher, plus better, but these have health. They, they could go in as a, as a pair of backpack. Backpack? Back up. But we do have mystery bosses, though. Ooh. Oh. Okay, those are huge. I might not have all those. Okay, do we have that? Do we have this? Do we have this? Do we have this? Okay, I did have everything. No relic. Dang. Anyway, we have a mod to pick, and I think I know which one I want to pick. Simple Storage Network. I also want drawers. But I think story, Simple Storage Network is going to be really beneficial. Because, yeah, managing the inventory after coming back from a vault run. Oh, that's from the lantern. Oh, that's cool. It, it's painful. However, I think we are slowly growing out of this house right here. I need more villagers. This staircase up here is not ideal. This setup is not ideal. The farms outside, I mean, they work. But they're not really ideal either out here. Nor having this. We need we need a proper base of operations. So to fix that, I went and explored and I have picked a location. And it's actually closer than you think. Flying right past this village right here. Moving towards northeast-ish. Flying down this mountain hill past this village. And right there, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be our new base location. I I fell in love with this place when I saw it because I, I I love building on cliff faces. Turning the cliff into a hollowed out base, I absolutely love that. But then we have this gap right here filled with water, this trench rather, leading all the way out to this wonderful lake, leading over actually to that village, which just can't see it due to the render distance. I immediately envisioned base right here, a bridge over, farms in the nearby area. We have some grassy areas right here, which are fairly easy to build on. And up here as well, we are able to fit some things. Granted, a little bit of terraforming and tree cutting, but yeah, I think this is going to be a perfect new base for us. Like, look at this right here. Look at that. Bridges and things like that for farms. I, I just love this place. And we would have a perfect view for the sunset. I mean, it, it takes off all the boxes. So without any further ado, I, I, need to, I need to get to building, I suppose. And so I did. However, just when I got started, the plan quickly changed. As you're about to see in just a second, um, just three, two, one. Yeah. This is indeed the mountain. If I just whoop, fly out here, you can see that this is clearly the cliff. <laughs> we actually did this in a le in a recent live stream, which I will be talking about in a second. You will be able to find it down below in the description. But as we were just about to dig out the rooms for the base, or the room for the base, uh, yeah, we dug into this. Well, we actually found a hole right back here, leading into this ginormous chamber. And so the base plan changed. We're living in this giant cavern now, which is really, really cool. But it doesn't stop there. This is not the end of it. This cave is probably the biggest and coolest cave that I have ever seen while playing Minecraft. I mean, it goes on forever. It goes on in that direction. Pretty sure it goes on in that direction as well. But not only that, it doesn't stop on this level either. We have a slime chunk right here as well. And if I would just were to just jump and dive down, <laughs> it goes down to deep slate. I mean, look at this, we have a pond here, I've seen glow squids in there. We have a lava lake or a lava pond or whatever you want to call this. I mean, this is just amazing. Plenty of resources right at our fingertips. That is pretty cool. So I think, actually, at first I, I, I was speechless. Be sure to check out the live stream to see get to catch my reaction, I'll upload a short as well. I was speechless, but I really do think that this is going to make our base way cooler than I originally thought. Now, speaking about live streams, I have come to, I think, a little bit of a plan. And that is, in the future, base planning, not base planning, base building and base expansion is going to be happening on live streams here on the channel. So the episodes will be more focused on 
vault running, which is right over there, and also working with mods and things like that. So for your best chance to catch the live streams, be sure to subscribe and have those notifications enabled. You can join my Discord and follow me on Twitter for live stream notifications as well. But yes, this is the current state of the base. Still need to expand. I have plans for this section. There's a little bit of an area over here which we can sit and enjoy the sunset, which is, of course, very, very lovely. I have added the vault altar right here, which is almost complete for our next vault run in the next episode. And, of course, the ginormous vault gate right here, which I think looks really cool, just like a huge wall right there. But... We still have some work to do in this episode, and that is because we have a simple storage network at our disposal. Now, this is going to be very interesting. I've never used this mod before, so it's going to be <laughs> very interesting, like I said, to set up. However, I did find a little bit of an issue, and that is this, the storage request table. Use to overview and request items from the network. So this right here is going to be basically just like in refined storage or applied logistics, the table where you go into and you can take things out of the network and you can also have a crafting table. At least that's my understanding. However, it requires a park, which we do not have. I am in fact missing these three gems right here, Xenium, Eupoline and Tobium. So that is a bit unfortunate. We will not be able to make that one, but we can still make the storage inventory, which makes it so we can actually access the inventory because it's just this. So we're going to do that right there. There's also a network guidebook, which I want to make. Uh, so yeah, that's that's really going to be our focus now. And my plan is to have a, the storage right here. So first things first, I'm going to chop these blocks away because I am envisioning a storage pipe almost coming up right here with the access to the storage right there. And then I'm thinking down here, having a door like probably here or something like that going underneath it. In fact, I would probably need to dig down a little bit so we can actually see what on earth we're I, not with a shovel. It's not going to work with a shovel. I can guarantee that right now. Oh, back, back up. Thank you. But also don't lag. If I just dig over here in this direction, then dig. Yep, that is right there. So we can have chests in this small chamber right here. Now, as you can see, I am struggling with the lighting situation a little bit here. I have had to torch ban this entire place, which is, of course, not ideal. Um, so a mod that would be really good to get into is the Torchmaster mods, which give us the Feral Flare Lantern, which is pretty simple to craft and really, really powerful. It basically places a bunch of light sources around in a radius so getting that would be really cool however if we go over to it it is too research don't know if i want to spend too research on that particular thing at least not right now but anyway chamber has been made and it is time to head back to our current base and set things up. Also, yes, I am no longer running with shaders. I was running into some laggy, weird lag problems. Uh, still, still trying to work out if it was the shaders or not, but for now, shaders are half. All right, so I have the mod open right over here, and I think it is going to be pretty easy. We're going to be needing a storage network route, then some network cables, and I think then the storage inventory is going to work. Link cable used to connect inventory to network, might be these that we need, but to begin with, I think we should probably make the storage network route right after silencing those villages almost completely. So to make this, we are going to be needing some blocks of quartz, link cables, and a vault diamond, of course, which should be fairly easy to get. Yep, there we go. Perfect. So actually, first we need to get the link cables, which to get the link cables, we're going to be needing some sort of glass and chromatic iron. And I do believe in this backpack that I have, yes, some chromatic iron in that. So that's perfect. And then, oh dear. Okay, I do have some glass here. Okay, good. I left my other glass back at the construction zone or site. Uh, right, so that that's network cables. And so now we need to make this, which for that we need some driftwood. It's going to be very nice having the storage set up. Okay, so we're going to be needing more, I think, maybe, Let, let's try with eight first. And then of course the block of quartz, which should be relatively easy to, do I not have? Oh, wait a minute, I haven't gone to the nether yet, have I? 
No, I have not. Um, no, I have not. I have not gone to the nether yet. Um, okay. Well, let's fix that real quick. This is going to be a temporary portal setup because it is going to be moving to our new base location. But seriously, my, my mouse wheel is messing up with me today. It's not fun. Right. Flint steel, going to the nether for the first time. Kind of anticlimactic, but I just want the quartz. Let's see where we have landed. Hmm. Oh. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Ooh. Okay, that, that would have been bad, lacking into that. That would have been very, very bad. What is this? What is this? Is this is still touch? What is it? No, you don't. No, no. Why? Why? It, okay, you know what? Get my things and get out. Just fortune this. How much is that? I need more. Uh, I... Uh, this biome is not ideal for quartz hunting due to reasons. This stuff here and uh, uh, why? Oh no, 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 no! That nah, lag. Nope, not good. Aha! Okay, you can't get me. You can't get me. Okay, please. Okay. Wait, did I get? I got, nope, don't have enough. Got it, got it, got it. <laughs> Get me out of here, I am not prepared for the nether yet. All right, now we can go ahead and make this thing. So the storage network root, and then uh, I have both cables, so I suppose we just need the storage inventory, which is four chromatic steel ingots, and then one perfect Laramar, which is sure, oh yeah. Plenty. Have to look at that. Plenty of Laramar. Uh, chromatic iron. Do I have? I think. I think this is it, right? That's not it. Yes. Perfect. Storage, inventory, inventory access without a crafting grid. So if we just test this real quick, if I have this here and we have the storage that would root, and I enter this, we have this, and we can type. But if I then go ahead and I'm missing a chest, I need I need a I need a I I need a chest. Chest acquired. So if I place this right here, okay, that is not working, which is to be expected. So if I place this here instead, and network cable, that is not connecting to the chest either. So I think I'm probably going to be needing these link cables. Which I mean, they're not expensive, so let's try and place that. Okay, so that connected to the chest. And now I can place things into the chest. What if then, if we don't test this with obsidian, because that would be annoying. We can indeed still access this chest, even though it is blocked by the roof. That is beautiful. That's all we need then. I just need a bunch of these cables actually, and then we are good to go. What? What's that? <laughs> Wait. Hello? <laughs> okay. I, I guess the village just has a new protector now. Huh. Okay. D didn't expect that. Now, just while I'm cooking up some more glass and placing these things down, there has been some updates to Vault Hunters in, be in between me building this and the last clips that you have seen. First of all, Bounty Tables uh, no longer takes coins to reroll. It takes uh, current cost Bounty Pearl once. So we need Bounty Pearls now in order to reroll, which you get these Bounty Pearl from wooden chest loot. So that is really cool, actually. I like that. And these are our current bounties. We'll probably be taking a look at those in the next episode. Not today. We still have the black market here. Anything interesting? No, not really. However, my magnet has changed quite a bit. It is now an unidentified magnet. You can no longer go ahead and craft a magnet. You have to actually find these in ornate uh, chests. So that is another interesting, but I think cool feature. So I suppose we should roll this and I don't know what the different ones is clearly there's different uh different rarities but this one uh sc is scrappy it has five repair slots the 3272 durability two range and two velocity 
whatever that means, I am pretty happy with that. And my glass is coming along very nicely. So I can turn these into driftwood cables and I think I forgot something. Yep, I forgot my driftwood. I forgot the driftwood to make... Uh, I, I wonder actually, hold on, can I... This connects to... no. This connects to that. Oh. Well, maybe I don't need that many more. I still need the driftwood. But maybe I don't need as many of these link cables as I thought. If we just go ahead and pop this away. And I think we'll place the... Hmm. No. This there. This on top, just like so. Yep, type away. And then down here, we'll break this. We'll lead cables down. And then we'll have a link cables connected to all this. Yeah, so I still need at least two more uh, of these batches crafted. But then our... Storage, at least for now, is going to be set up and ready to go. Aha, this is pretty cool. So this is the network guide and you can go ahead and read all the things that there is to read or to know about the different blocks. So that is really, really good. I'm definitely going to keep that. And I think I'm going to do something. I'm going to make another set of this because I want to have two different sets of inventories or storages. One for my normal vanilla stuff, and then, oh, I need those. And then one for Vault Hunter items specifically. I think that would be really cool to have those separated. All right, simple storage and network route. And then this, which just requires a little bit more Lerimar and chromatic steel, and boom. <laughs> Perfect. And I can now finish placing these right there. All right, connect this to here. Connect all this. We'll have more chests over there eventually. I just am out of chests at the moment. But that should be that. We now have two separate storages. One for vanilla items and one for Vault Hunter items. And yeah, I think that is pretty cool. And because we have made it actually not... Like, we have made it so that there's... Two, I, th I think two. Let's see over here. One, two. Oh, yeah. So one in between here. So we could actually run these cables underneath the flooring here without causing too much trouble. So we could lead some all the way over here right next to this so we can have access to the inventory while crafting a new crystals. That would be kind of cool. But I think that is for a later expansion. For now... I think that this has been a pretty good success and I can start using it right away. Would you look at that? That is beautiful. So the next step for me is basically to move everything from our old home to this new place and expand this area right here, which is going to happen in between episodes because we have reached the end of this one. I will probably be live streaming it, so keep an eye out on the channel for those. I'll try and post it in the community section of the channel as well as on my Discord and Twitter when I do go live, so keep your eyes out on there. But for now, I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, enable those notifications so you don't miss the next episode. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and until next time, goodbye. Stop.